Welcome to yet another quick video about HoloLens 2 and Azure Mood Rendering. Today it's about the ARR Showcase app you can find on GitHub. Super cool app with nice MRTK UI here. And so I loaded a bunch of models, which is possible with this app. Here I have a photogrammetry model of uh, some really nice castle in France. And then I have this super cool uh, BIM, uh, Building Information Management Architecture Visualization. I got of GitHub, a few million polygons, and as you can see I can you know, walk inside it, check out the rooms, you know, using basically the, the clipping of my uh, camera. And even cooler, there's also a couple of tools built into the app you can actually select into uh, from this UI here, right? I'm going to show you a few more, but uh, take a look at the slice, right? So I can take the slice, basically a cut plane, um, and, you know, slice through the building, for example. So I can see the walls, you know, what's behind it, peek inside. Oh, someone put a bunching back here. I guess someone wants to do some boxing workout in their uh, cellar, right, in a keller. Um, yeah, pretty pretty amazing, right? Um, really also enjoy the other model here I got. It's a photogrammetry model of some cyberpunkish, stylish machine with a dragon and so on. Super nice, super nice. And so, yeah, so you could load a bunch of models. Actually, let me um, first load another one, which is the build-in engine. So I have the list here of all my models. I put in a, a container on Azure, on the blob storage. So I'm going to load the engine now. And actually I'm also going to close the a few other models so that we don't have too much stuff here. Where is the other one? All right, and this guy. All right, now it's loading the... Um, you can see the, the loading progress of the built-in engine, which is a super cool model. You have a bunch of other things like the session here. So currently I'm connected to West Europe and you can actually also configure like what kind of data center you want to use. So of course you want to choose something that is closest to you. Uh, you can also select standard or premium tier. Standard is fine for up to 20 million polygons. Uh, premium um, runs up to 1 billion polygons. So if I would have selected premium, I could load multiple instances of that model, which is 18 million polygons, right? And but it's a, a bit more expensive, so I would recommend uh, rather to choose standard. Also, when you launch the app, it will take the pre-configured one and basically will just select that and you can choose if you want to start a session or no. And so I'd recommend to um, not start a session with this mode, but rather uh, go into the session, configure it properly, and then, um, you know, select the right one. Also, you can see the statistics, right? 18.7 million polygons. It just renders with 30 frames per second, so you might wonder why is that? That's only because of the MRC, the mixed reality capture I'm using here to record the video. It would render with 60 frames per second if I don't render, if I don't record the video at the same time. Also, the video recording shows a little bit of jittering and lag. You don't see that if you wear the whole lens. That's just because the MRC video capture does not support late state reprojection. All right, so here you have a bunch of tools, like I mentioned, and there's a really cool one, for example, Explode. And so I can select this model and get this kind of exploded view, right? And remember, this is rendering remotely, right? This is not rendering locally in the whole lens. This is rendering local um, on an Azure remote rendering, one of these beefy Azure GPU machines. And um, it's real time, right? And it's super impressive. Still impressed by it. And so I could even, you know, select these kind of parts, move them around separately. Or with the tooling, it's also cool. You can actually select different colors. So maybe we want to select green and make this part green and this one as well. See that? Now it's on green. And again, right? A bunch of, bunch of things you can do here with the tooling. Also, it's nice. You can actually select different uh, PBR uh, rendering styles, lighting, lighting and shading. So I could go with this, right? looks a little bit different. And yeah, a few more, few more cool tools here. Um, I show you explode. I could also just select multiple or small pieces. And of course, I could erase the whole thing or just one piece of it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you again, right? That's cool thing is you can select multiple models. So I can um, also load another one. Like uh, I have an excavator here, for example, which I could maybe place here. And now it would load the model and see that. All right, folks, that's all I wanted to show you. Again, Azure Mood rendering magic here, rendering real-time stuff. They're loaded. It's an excavator kind of model. All right, folks, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.